Dude, we're fishing out of this tonight. What is up, MFR? Special episode today for you guys. It's actually been a tumultuous couple days. Um, but somehow, some way, we have a first on the channel, and that is we are fishing with a former World Series MVP and a, just a good freaking fisherman out there. Right here, my man Josh Beckett. Win it all again. Posada, slow roller right side. Beckett picks it up, tags Posada, and the Florida Marlins are world champions. This is a pitch from Beckett. Call straight three for the first time in Dodger history. A no hitter. There's a long drive to deep left field. Josh Beckett gets a hold of one, and it is gone. Threaten this game. Swing and a miss. Granderson. Two down, nine to strike. How are we doing, guys? You guys probably seen him um, with with who have all you played for? Mostly the the Red, Red Sox, Sox, right? You the got Red Sox for seven years, the Marlins for four, and the Dodgers for three. And he claims that he has watched some of my fishing videos and wanted to fish with me or something. Yeah. But anyway, so yesterday we didn't really have a lot of context to it. <laughs> We, he was on a good bite or heard about a good bite at a lake that is really a safe bet. We thought we could freaking crush them and it was tougher than the wind blew a hundred miles an hour and we just kind of had to punt and well, this is what happened in the video guys. Just watch. Right quick before we jump into fishing today guys, I want to let you know today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. If you guys are not familiar with HelloFresh, you need to be because they deliver pre-portioned ingredients and easy to make recipes directly to your door. So you can skip all those long checkout lines, get it delivered right there and on the table. Many of these recipes in under 30 minutes. As you guys are watching me talk about HelloFresh and everything that's great about it, we're going to be cooking up this guy right here. The beef flout is supreme. I think I've had that before. It's a delicious one. Can't wait to have it again. As you guys know, April is Earth Month and HelloFresh is committed to a cleaner planet. On average, HelloFresh meals are about 30% cleaner and leave less of a carbon footprint than other traditionally prepared meals. Not only that, they're actually cheaper than your grocery store meals and about 25% cheaper than takeout too. And no worries if you're not a pro in the kitchen guys. HelloFresh's ingredients and meals come all pre-portioned with easy to follow steps so even people like Cole can make these at home. Would you look at that? How delicious does that look? Cooked it up in about a half hour's time too. Nice, simple, Easy meal, and it's real hot. Oh, oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's good though. Guys, this is so good. You need to start getting HelloFresh here this month, and they want to hook you up with a discount code too. Let's go to HelloFresh.com and use code MELICAN50 for 50% off plus your first box ships free. Once again, go to HelloFresh.com, use code MELICAN50 for 50% off, and that first box ships free. Into the fishing. Hey, a fish. Good call. It's a bass too. Dude, we're about to rail them here. <laughs> I was basically winding it because it was pulling straight the other direction on the trolling motor. Hopefully a sign of things to come. There he is. We got the skunk out. Oh, feels good. Feels good. Thank you so much, buddy. Man, this is gonna be an exciting show. <laughs> you get another one? Yep. Found us another pecker. Oh. Deal. They're grouped up out there. About a thousand of them, Cole. There went my cricket. Biggins. We got a good in here. Oh, here we go. Well, he ain't that good, but he's pretty damn good. Dude, I thought he went the other way on you like you had a donk. Good work. I think the wind actually was like up against my rod made it feel a lot better than that. Beauty. Here, guide. They're growing. A little better one. Jesus Christ. Got the top too. Is it a 
catfish? I don't know. It ain't small. He's about 40 feet on the other side of the boat. Let me cut it quick, Cole. He's fighting weird. It doesn't feel tough. Oh, right almost to his butthole. No wonder he's fighting so good. Dude, that's the yeah, biggest that's fish we've hooked all, all day. Huh? That's the biggest one we've hooked all day, and I foul hooked it. Sorry, bud. Wow. It's heavy. Never caught one this big. Hmm. <laughs> that son bitch is up there. Hair better. I seriously feel like I'm fishing the damn Ozarks right now. Really? Yeah, but the same kind of stuff. Just pattern fishing on little rock areas, catching two pounders. Got leeches on the top of his Dude, mouth. they Be all careful. have that on the the leech things. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Leeches, I leeches. guess. <laughs> they got leeches. Really? Yeah. See it more all the time. Why do you punch fish? To hurt them. Here it is. Got it. Yes. That's a big one. Yeah. all in his mouth too. Kind of wish I wouldn't have stuck my finger in there now. Says no guy ever. Okay and then after that we had the most incredible thing that I thought of was the entire trip and that was going to this man's ranch. Is it safe to oh, hell no. stay down huh? Now you're in my world. Pelican. Driving around looking at some of these javelinas and we got to have some steaks. The place is crazy. How many acres is that joint? 4,200. 4,200 acre ranch. So that was incredible. Like an hour from Mexico too. So it's out there, middle of nowhere. It was pretty incredible last night. Had a couple cocktails and, and such and told some stories about- A couple about, too many cocktails A couple for me. too many, exactly. And then today we are fishing a lake um, actually, this is like our fourth choice. The first lake we went to, a power plant lake, um, is closed because the wind's blowing 394 today, so there's a red flag, red flag warning. One next to it, also power plant lake, can't fish it, red flag. We tried to go to another one, but the dam was broken. We tried to go to another one after that, and apparently it's drained, there's no water in it. <laughs> And we ended up here, but this is actually a pretty cool lake. Josh has fished it a solid amount. We have never been here before, even though it's in Texas. And it looks cool to me on paper and just looking at it. It looks like a lot of our highland lakes, like the Ozark type lakes that we fish. So probably clean water stuff, swim baits, jerk baits, top water even maybe. Should be a good time today. Um, I don't know, regardless, we need to freaking get on the water because this is like the fifth lake we've tried to fish and yesterday was a debacle and the wind's supposed to blow 700 miles an hour today also. Let's catch some. Burning the jerk bait. This is a monster. There you go. Look at that sucker, he's pretty though. Oh, I'm gonna need some pliers I think. Uh-uh, don't you dare jump. That's a pretty fish, isn't it, Cole? Dude, there's so many fish right here. I think they're eating tiny bait or something. That side's prettier. Hey. God, it'd be awesome if we got into a bunch of smallmouth, huh? Mm-hmm. I got into one. Yes, you did. Maybe a large mouth, though. 
Molly, isn't it? Yep. Mm. They do exist. Good work. Look at the red eyes on that thing. Dude, this is dangerous right here, buddy. <laughs> Cole, are you ready to see me get hooked? What do you think, Milliken? Definitely a smallmouth. <laughs> Oh gosh. That's a good one. Heavy it's, action. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. You can throw like up to six ounce baits on it. Definitely almost too much lot, uh, rod for this bait. I think these are only like two and a half ounces, maybe three. Oh, so that thing's not that heavy? No. Not crazy. Yeah. yeah. Brown too, huh? Yes, sir. Came up and got it. Fraction of the size of the last one, but that's okay. Where are we? We are in Texas, where they get attacked. Apparently, can't you tell we're in Texas, Cole? The mountain, the Ozark rocks, and smallmouth and blue water. Deal. Maybe that's gonna work. Smallmouth on bone. What do you know? That up, babe. Glad I didn't take this thing off. Yeah, exactly. You just said you're putting <laughs> it down. That's all it takes, usually. Hell yeah. Oh, he's pinned. Skinny. Damn. Pull him up. Pretty fish. A little rough on the landing there. Big school of bait back there. I think they're gizzard shed. Gizzard shed? I think so. They were big, unless they were bluegill. Oh, crushed it. Largemouth? I don't know. He did look a little greener, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. It's fighting like a. Uh... Oh, I got it. Nope, side. Oh, sheesh. Side swiped a schmolly. God, he freaking murdered that thing. As tough as the last two days have been, I'm going to count that. Yeah, that counts. <laughs> He's back where he was going to go anyway. All right. There's people watching, not paying attention to my top water and caught the biggest brown we've caught so far today. What do you think, dude? That was badass. That was an angry one. I wish they were all that mad. <laughs> Man. Sort of like that. Large mouth. Striper. Striper. Golly. What is I, that? I just watched that second hook go in here. weird colors. Dude, those little ones, look at they're messed up. The, they get eaten by stripers or something? I don't think so. This last smallmouth I caught was all beat too. Mm -hmm. 